So today we're going to show you how to use the Database Connections Cloud Service to connect into uh, a schema underneath an Apex workspace. Uh, for this example, uh, we're going to go into our, our SQL workshop in Apex to start with, and we're going to focus in just on this schema. Uh, and we'll actually query a little bit later on the players table just so you can see what it looks like on the Apex side. Now, uh, when you get started with the Database Connections uh, Cloud Service, one of the first things you have to do is create a vault. So if you've never done this before, you simply go down to Identity and Security, go over to Vault, choose the compartment you're going to create it in, um, go ahead and click Create. All right, now that took a couple minutes to create, but we can go ahead and click into our, our key vault. And the first thing we want to do is we're going to um, go ahead and add uh, one master key. All right, now we see it's created, so we're going to go up uh, to Developer Services, go over to the Database Connections Cloud Service, and we're going to create a new connection. Select the database type, it's going to be autonomous. It'll, uh, it'll actually recognize uh, your autonomous database is there. Here we're going to put the username of the schema we're going to connect it. And we're going to create a secret password. So here we're going to select our vault. So we're going to do our Apex key vault we just selected. Uh, it'll pull in the master key, or if we have multiple, we can we can choose the one we want. Uh, and now we're going to enter our password uh, for that schema. We'll go ahead and click Create. We can click Next. Now, because this is uh, an ATP database, we will need to create a wallet content secret as well. Go to Selector Vault. And this is really where the cool part comes in of this product. It'll actually retrieve the uh, the regional wallet directly from the database without you having to do anything. You could obviously upload it as well, but I'm going to do the automatic. Then go ahead and click Create. All right, so now our connection is set up and active. Uh, and the most basic thing that we can do is open SQL Worksheet and select star from players, right? Then we should get uh, the results of our data back. Uh, just like we would if we were using um, SQL Worksheet inside of Apex. 